don't write stories that you are not connected to, or stories that don't express your specific view of a certain subject matter or a certain issue, so that in telling that story, that story will be very plausible and, and, and have a great honesty to it. That is absolutely essential. I'm Stephen Spling Aspling, and I'm a movie critic and freelance writer. I'm Frances Iron, and I've just completed the fourth and last session of The Right Journey with Daniel Derrickson and three others. Good afternoon, my name is Andrew, and uh, well, I am part of the South African Movie Database, which got me interested in movies. I'm the lab, today is the inspiring uh, writer. Because some writers find it sometimes quite overwhelming, the entire process, and then they try to shortcut the process. And it's when you start shortcutting the process that you actually find um, that you start getting holes in your story and things start going wrong. I got involved with the Jamison First Shot competition and that really, um, I've been wanting to do a script or I had an idea that's been sort of bubbling over for quite a while and I kept getting encouraged by friends to do it and then the Jamison First Shot competition came around and my sister threw that out at me, it's just seven pages and I just thought let me go for it. And um, about a week before submitting that, um, I heard about this course and I started coming on board with it and it just really opened my eyes having kind of just winged it um, just based on some of the movie knowledge and things that I picked up um, as to how much detail you really need to go into for your story and I think that's what it's really done is given me structure but it's also made it a big project seem a lot more like a whole lot of little small projects so it's been great in terms of structure and that sort of thing. Well, I've always been interested in writing and recently I'm very drawn to a particular idea which I'm not going to share now, but um, I've thought about approaching it as a play and this being about screenwriting of course is dealing with all the same aspects and things. So here I am. I've been fortunate enough to, to know Daniel who uh, presents the course um, through movies and through film reviews and uh, Usually after a film, you know, there's always a very big engaging conversation to do with, you know, the parts of the film, what we thought of the film. And the interesting part is that we often disagree. I mean, film is very, can be a very subjective matter. So um, I've had debates with, with, with people in that about the content of film, you know, the story of film. I've done a few production workshops where they've just touched on um, the writing journey and story and structure and that. And I thought it was about time that I actually learned something proper for real. Well, in the past, I've been writing, like getting a degree with the Athens novel, but I've started and stopped a few times. So I wanted to have a complete project in 2015 and make it happen. Yeah. Writing wise. I didn't know you had to apply all of these specific rules, or might, might be a process you more differs from novel writing, I guess, in that regard. Yeah. yeah. But I can see. It's the same happen, with yeah. it, it's the same with novel writing. It's it's important to um it's important to realize that as a writer you work left and right brain mm -hmm. and that this is very much the left brain logic it's very easy to get carried away in the creative process mm -hmm. that you get lost in it, that you overwrite, that you get completely lost in it and there's always going to be that left brain logic that just keeps you, that gives you that story sense that you're not just writing for the sake of writing I think it has been quite an eye-opener because when you watch film you are in a very sort of passive state and you sort of fall into that dream world and when you are sort of breaking it down into plot points and turning points and, and um, opening values and closing values for scenes it really just gets down to the mechanics of it you really um, look behind the curtain and it's really just interesting and fascinating and um, a little bit alienating when you're sort of actually looking into the machine and seeing how these well-oiled screenplays and novels do work. So yeah, I think it's just been like a great behind the scenes for me and um, especially this this sort of um, S-Bend thing to sort of see how the screenplay is structured and how to pull um, wandering screenplays into structure has been great. There's a lot to work on. But certainly I've got a clearer idea of, of, the, of the process involved and with some very clear structure that we've been provided with, I feel a lot happier about a 
approaching it. Suddenly there's something to work with, whereas before I was writing with, with sort of nothing tangible to continue. Uh, it's been great to affirm a few of the small things that I knew, but uh, it also showed me that I, 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 did, I only did know a small amount of things. I've learned such a great deal about structure, story, characterization, and planning. The biggest thing that I've got a few scripts that I'm busy developing, and I actually should correct that and say I'm not really developing them anymore because uh, the planning has, it is so far from, from being correct now, according to all that we've learned here. I kind of like them, I must say, because when you start the writing process, it's a very involved, very long process. So it's just getting into a project, seeing where to begin and to end, that was the main thing for me. Oh. Yeah. But you have to realize that as a writer, there are only three ways in which you can write a story. And that is consciously, subconsciously, and unconsciously. And if you write your story uh, subconsciously, you draw from your experiences, from movies you've seen, from books you've seen and that. And if you write it unconsciously, which is the complete right brain way of writing a story, that's where you lose yourself in a story. But you have to come back to writing your story consciously so that you can deconstruct what you've written and look at that objectively so that you don't um, become uh, quite egotistical and, and, and sort of have the sense of grandeur about your story, you know. I'm quite interested to see if if anything comes of the Jamison thing. Um, I was glad to have at least had a week or two to kind of think about things, about the, the mechanics of that. But um, what I'd really like to do at some stage is write a novel. And um, this is another, yeah, all the characterization and all of the tips and, and tricks and, and um, structure that it affords you has been great to, to work with. I think this is great in that it really introduces you to what's needed. Um, every second person I know is always saying, uh, I want to write a story, can you help me write a story? But the reality is there is so much groundwork to be done. And um, yeah, that's what this has shown, a massive of, of work to do to, to be actually, to get anywhere before even being successful. The way to from here, uh, get those scripts completed, hopefully get, get them into production, um, pitch them to somebody, get them made. Um, I, I'd love to see them uh, on screen, um, but I, I guess the, the first one or two that are, that are right will be a, a, an exercise in, in actually discovering whether I can write. Hopefully I'll have a finished project this year. Not all of them start with that and then move by to a screen. Here already there's this grounding that's written down that I can go back to all the time. So I can get carried away, but then creating more work for myself. You go back and you see, wait a minute, this is not fitting into. It's a wonderful structure to have. I think if you really are passionate about it, you will make it happen no matter what. So you just need to, to keep working against the criticism. You need to take it with a pinch of salt and you need to just be very true about what you're after and the hard work will eventually pay off. Um, I would actually say that people should in invest in actually doing a, f a formal structured workshop. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned from the internet, there's plenty of great resources, I've read books, I've watched a ton of movies, listened to the bonus features, those are all great, but those as additional information, get yourself onto a course, I mean, you actually need to be led by, by an expert, by a professional. Be persistent, write every day, and always have it in, in mind. Just to remember that your story should always be sensational, have a truth, be original, be real, and express who you are. Mm -hmm.